Hey, hey, Mzansi. So Johannesburg controversial self-proclaimed prophet Shepherd Bushiri and his wife Mary fled South Africa for Malawi through one of the borders after allegedly bribing home affairs officials. Hello and welcome to Entertainment News Mzansi. Now, if you're new to the channel, you know you love the stories, go ahead, click the subscribe button and the bell and you'll never miss an update. So this follows a drama at Waterclough Air Force Base on Friday when Malawian President Lazarus Chakwera was accused of trying to smuggle out about 30 people who are believed to be members of his advanced team that arrived in South Africa first. One senior government official yesterday confirmed that Chakwera's presidential jet was grounded for hours at Waterclough after there was a problem with his suspicious passengers. Although we got an anonymous tip that Bushiri was one of those suspicious passengers, he wasn't there when we searched the plane, the official said. Chakera's press secretary Brian Banda, speaking from Malawi yesterday, confirmed that Bushiri wasn't on the president's plane. Bushiri wasn't on the president's plane, I can confirm that. The president's plane was delayed and some members of his team weren't allowed to board from Watercliffe. They were forced to go to O'Artambo Tambo International Airport, he said. The reason is that when they arrived in South Africa, they landed at O'R Tambo and therefore weren't allowed to leave from the Air Force Base. He said Chakwera will only discuss Bushiri's matter once the South African government has written to him and made an official inquiry. The president is going to respect the rule of law. He has promised during his presidential campaign that he isn't going to interfere with issues of justice in Malawi and definitely not in South Africa. When pressed on when Chakera is going to hand Bushiri over to South Africa, Banda said we will cross the bridge when we get there. A senior Department of International Relations and Corporations official said an Interpol red alert on Bushiri and his wife was activated yesterday. All member countries of Interpol will monitor his movement and once detected, he will immediately be apprehended and handed over to the authorities here at home. The official also added that South Africa has engaged Zimbabwean and Lesotho governments to check if Bushiri and his wife have not used their countries for their escape. We know for a fact that they couldn't have escaped through Botswana because Bushiri was kicked out of that country about a year ago and his churches closed down. He added that crime intelligence has also been asked to probe the church itself in addition to the man himself to check the possibility of it being a front for money laundering. He explained that the authorities became aware of Bushiri and his wife's escape after they, fa they failed to present themselves at their local police station as per their bail conditions on Friday. Red flags were raised and the hawk started looking for them. It appears they skipped the country on Wednesday undetected. The president is extremely angry and has instructed the security cluster minister to get answers as to what happened. He said South Africa has, got, has a good chance of getting Bushiri and his wife back because Malawi has in 2002 ratified the SADC protocol on extra, extradition. It will be easier to get them back to SA to face the music. There are talks about currently underway with Malawi to urgently get the Bushiris back. Home Affairs, Border Management, State Security and the police have, have tough questions to answer. Sunday Independent got a tip-off that Bushiri and his wife had, had fled the country on Friday night and it was also suspected that they might have been smuggled in Chagwera's presidential jet, which left Waterkloof around 9pm and also made a quick stop at Oar Tambo International Airport to pick up some members of his entourage who were allowed to board the flight at the Air Force Base in Pretoria. A team of police officers were sent to O'Ar Tambo to check if Bushiri wasn't one of the passengers but he couldn't find him and his wife, said the police officer who asked not to be named as he isn't allowed to speak to the media. The news that Bushiri and his wife fled South Africa to Malawi in violation of their bail conditions broke out on Saturday morning when he post posted a statement on his Facebook account to inform the general public that, was, that my wife Mary and I are temporarily in our home country. Malawi because of safety and security issues since 2015, matters that got worse when we just got out on bail. The couple is accused along with three others in a 102 million fraud and money laundering case. Speaking in a televised address beamed by privately owned television station Zodiac Broadcasting on Saturday evening, Bushiri said he was in his home country to formally ask the Malawian government to intervene in his court battles in South Africa. 
The investigation team is made of five white police officers, the judge is white and a white prosecutor. As a black man in South Africa, I will not have a fair trial, he said. I arrived in Malawi on Wednesday and my president Lazarus Chagwera left for South Africa the following day, Thursday. I have not met my government, I have not spoken to any government official, I will meet my government on Monday. Bushiri said he was not running away from his trial but that he wants to involve his native government about his concerns surrounding his criminal cases in South Africa. He said his South African based lawyers would on Monday file papers in high court for his bail not to be revoked. I'm not running away from trial. That is why I'm here announcing that I'm in Malawi. If you are running, you do not disclose where you are. I'm also going to subject myself to Malawian police. I'm going to present myself to them. As part of their bail, the couple were only allowed to travel within Gauteng and Northwest until the case was finalized. The couple owns a hotel in Rustenburg in Northwest. Bushiri made five demands as condition for him to return to South Africa for trial. Amongst others, he wanted the police assigned to this case to be changed. He also wanted the judge and prosecutors in his case to, re to recuse themselves. Furthermore, he wanted the South African government to assure him that his bail would not be revoked. Bushiri said he had opened cases of extortion against the team of police officers who arrested him and the team investigation his, his cases. He said he opened cases in 2018 and he expected the South African ju judicial system to first deal with the cases he has lodged. In, the, in, in a nearly 30 minutes briefing on Saturday night, he did not divulge details on how he skipped the country as he was expected to have handed over his travel documents to the police as part of his bail conditions. Bushiri's lawyer Nsako Baloi on Saturday also refused to explain how his client left the country. I refuse to make any statement whether my client is a fugitive or not because it has different connotations and meanings to different people depending on which side you are in this case, he said. Sources within the police claim that a preliminary investigation suggests that Bushiri and his wife left through one of the borders between South Africa and Lesotho. It is suspected that they bribed some home affairs officials to let them cross the border and we are still not sure how they left Lesotho to Malawi, the officer said. We understand that after Bushiri and his wife reported at Midran police station as per their bail condition on Wednesday, they didn't go back to their house but decided to escape. We suspect that there are a number of people who helped them to escape, the officers added. Now, the DA on Sunday called for Home Affairs Minister Aaron Mutsaledi to appear before Parliament over the incident. According to reports, the pair allegedly fled South Africa for Malawi, crossing the border illegally after bribing Home Affairs officials. This is a serious indictment on the role of Home Affairs and Border Control to effectively police South Africa's port or entry and secure the movement of individuals to and from our country, said Angel Kanyele, the DA's Chair Minister of Home Affairs. More worryingly, Bushiri's escape brings into question the security and safety of our nation given how easily border management system can be manipulated by corruption and bribery, especially in light of reports insurgents led by re religious extremists in neighboring countries such as Mozambique. The DA calls on the Minister of Home Affairs, Aaron Mutsaledi, to appear before Parliament to account for his department's abject failure to effectively manage South Africa's ports of entry and departure, which have rendered our borders so poor that even wanted fugitives can pass through them with ease, Kanyele said. Now, Mzansi, that is your update on the Bushiri case and how he supposedly or allegedly, or whatever you want to call it, escaped and fled to Malawi. Some people say the president of Malawi had hidden him in his plane and he left with him. And some um, of the police officials are saying that Bushiri might have left through the borders. So do leave your comment in the comment section below. But for now, you know, I will bring you the updates hot. Just a little bit.